In yesterday's video, I showed you how to put any buff on any weapon, which caused some very concerning combinations like Rivers of Blood with Death on it, Rivers of Blood with Frost, Reduvia with Frost, Bleed on your fist. There were just a lot of combinations in that video that were crazy. But there was one thing in particular that I did not mention and didn't go into detail about, and that is the fact that by using this glitch, you can also perform any Ash of War on any weapon, given maybe one or two properties. So I went around and tested some weapons to see what kind of crazy, stupid or maybe overpowered results we can get out of it. First of all, I tried using Waterfall on different weapons, which visually looks very interesting, but doesn't actually do damage and then gets you stuck in some default animation afterwards. It's really weird. Trying the Ringed Finger weapon mod is disappointing to say the least. It doesn't actually, you know, inflate your weapon like I thought it would. It just makes you look extremely weird and then suddenly your weapon flicks up. Like, Seppuku with the Giant Crusher is pretty amusing and so is trying to use the Magma Blade on any other weapon. It's just a very pathetic attempt. And using Marika's Hammer on a fist gets you locked in the animation at the end and then once again you stand still afterwards. In addition to yesterday, if you put Bleed on the Frost Torch, you can actually inflict Bleed and Frost with the Torch, which is very strong. But now we get to the serious things, because you can put Royal Knight's Resolve, something that I completely forgot about, on any weapon. And the most insane thing is that as long as you only use your Ash of War, it will stay. Like, it will not go away and you will have 10 seconds of plus 80% damage. As you can see here, I put it on the Giant Crusher and using Lion's Claw does not consume it. I can even do it another time. If you were to attack normally, it would consume it, but with the weapon mod, it just, it just doesn't. So you can use it, for example, on the Bubble Shower, on Lion's Claw, you can use it on Destined Death, you can use it on a Magma Blade, which turns out to be insanely strong. Like, goddamn, this weapon does a lot of damage with the buff. If any of you have missed Sword of Night and Flame from the beginning patch, this is how you can get it back, basically. It still hits for crazy amounts. And keep in mind that all of these values are unbuffed, like I did not go out of my way to buff. Using it on Death's Poker is completely unnecessary, but just skywalkers the damage numbers. And using it on Radan's Bow and then on Placida Sucks just makes you deal so much damage without even trying, like there's no buff active. And then, if you were to buff and if you were to take it to the extreme, you can hit for like 10,000 per hit on a Lion's Claw over and over and over again for 10 seconds. And then all you have to do is just rebuff and you can do it again. But unfortunately, something that I was really hoping would work doesn't work. If you Royal Knights resolve your staff, it doesn't actually enhance the damage of spells, which is very disappointing. I missed that glitch. As long as you can turn around and queue up the weapon mod while turning and then actually have it be performed, you can do this glitch whatever weapon mod you use. So I implore everyone to just keep trying and see if you can find some crazy combinations. For the time being it seems like most of the Ashes of War that are not a buff are kind of useless, but the buffs are extremely strong and definitely breaking the game. And I'm sure Royal Nuts Resolve on Lion's Claw in PvP is probably not going to be the most enjoyable thing. But with that being said, thanks for watching.